never take her back after she cheats. Thing you guys gotta understand is there's only one reason why a woman will ever cheat on you, okay? And that one reason is, is to test her value in the open market, to see if she can replace you with a higher value male, to see if she could get the BBD, the bigger, better deal. This is the only reason why a woman would ever cheat, is to test her SMV, her sexual marketplace value out there in the world. Now in our current culture, we've gotten to a point that is so fucking bizarre that there are men, a lot of men, who actually say that when a woman cheats on him, it's actually his fault. <laughs> no, it's not his fault. See, the fault is with the woman who cheated on the guy. You see, because the woman failed to exercise a little bit of self-control. Because you see, it's perfectly natural to be attracted to other people that you're not married to or, or that you're not hooked up with, okay? It happens all the time that you feel attraction. But to actually act on that attraction, that demands agency. See, when a woman goes and cheats on her man, she goes and acts on her attraction. The only reason why she would ever come back, okay, this is the only reason why she would ever come back. The only reason why she would ever come back is because she realized that you were the highest value male that she could get. And she realized that she might have been a little delusional about her value. Maybe she's not as valuable as she thought she was, right? That's why she comes back to you. And too many of you suckers take these girls right back. You're like, oh, honey, I know you're sorry. I know you'll never, you said you'll never do it again. And you realize how much you love me, right? And you fool, you take her back. Time is the most valuable thing that any person can possess it can't be bought anywhere there's no magic formula for it time waits for no man so why would you spend it on a woman who's playing games with you why would you spend it on any individual who doesn't appreciate you why would you spend it on anything that's not going to benefit you in the long run. I'm not talking about short-term gratification. Why not just walk away? Why not just distance yourself from that particular woman? I think it's best. In trying to punish somebody, you will only end up punishing yourself. They're doing what they want to do. It's best that you see what is it that you really want with your life. You don't have to react to them and do something stupid like them. You just have to sit down and look at this. When your illusions are broken, you're disillusioned right now. It's a very good thing. If your illusion, illusions are broken, that means life is bringing you closer to reality, isn't it? What guys fail to realize is they, they don't know how to take care of they try to go back and fix it. You know, they try to they, they they try to go back and fix things that's that's already been broken, that can't be fixed. They try to fix broken relationships because they're red pill aware now, because they have an alpha mindset now all of a sudden, a year later, six months later, four months later, when you was beta as fuck, when you were blue pill as fuck throughout the whole relationship and now you're this red pill guy that you think that she sees but now you want to fix things man take that L bro take that L it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt bro but you know what you need to take that L bro it's gonna hurt like a mug bro but you know what take the L man take the L for what it is it is what it is bro and so why would you be with such a woman Right? Why would you be with a woman who, at the first chance she gets, she's off hooking up with some other guy? F*** her. There are other women. And that's the point, see? 
most guys don't seem to understand this or they don't believe it or they're very insecure about it. But the fact of the matter is, you know, with a population of what, 7.4 billion people on this earth? That means that well, there are what, 3.7 billion women, right? And attractive women, and you know, you cut it down, and there are a few million women, hot women, who'd love to f you, right? There is always another woman, always. And I'm here to tell you from my experience, my direct experience, see? Because more than once I've had my heart broken, more than once I've been a fucking puddle on the floor, right? The, uh, the woman just basically just need me to the groin. Right, and broke up with me, and shortly thereafter, I found a better woman. <laughs> yeah! The single most powerful weapon you have as a man is telling a woman you're done. Walking away. You get one word answers, walk away, cut contact. You get wishy washy games, walk away, cut contact. Respect yourself. So this is an opportunity for you to sit down and see what is the nature of my life, why is it? See, this piece of life is a complete piece of life, isn't it so? Is it half a life? Are you a half a life or a full life? Full life. Why is it that it feels so incomplete that it needs another person to fill this life? Why is it? It's time to look at it, isn't it? If this is a full life, this is complete by itself. But right now, you made it in such a way that this cannot exist with that one and that one, without that one and that one and that one. So somewhere it's an incomplete life, or at least it has not realized the fullness of its nature, isn't it? Having the ability to walk away from a woman requires you to have an abundance mindset. Okay, so I'm not going to sugarcoat the truth or bullshit you and tell you like, yeah, you can you know, totally just jump into abundance and you can just walk away from women. It doesn't work that way. Okay, you have to be in abundance. Okay, you have to realize that there are other women out there other than your girl, other than the chick that you are approaching or that you are in a relationship with. You need to understand and almost trick your brain into believing that you can get other women just like her, which you can. I mean, I shouldn't even say tricking your brain because I mean, realistically, you can. Life is not guaranteed for you. It's not. You don't know when your last breath is gonna be. Do you wanna spend it on a woman who you're trying to make things happen and trying to work out and trying to get her and play these little crafty, goofy games? If she's not on your program, walk away. Life is short. You'll waste so much time trying. When you walk away, wonderful things happen. You take your power back, your time, your energy, and she won't be able to extract any more of your hard-earned resources, of your time. When you cut contact, when you do these things, what's gonna happen is you'll feel better about yourself.